Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can implement Google Charts in your web page. I will show you how you can show dynamic content in charts in your web page. Let's begin. Subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Just uh, search for um, Google Chart in uh, Google so or in your favorite uh, browser so go and uh, click uh, take it uh, which uh, gallery here you can find many charts take uh, your favorite charts uh, my charts my favorite chart is actually gun chart that I'm using in projects so uh, see, uh, this is very, uh, very nice charts. So I will show you how you can manipulate this value. Uh, just copy the code uh, and paste it in your favorite code editor. My code editor is I'm using Visual Studio Code. So if you go here and click here. So here you can see some valley and some charts, uh, gun charts. This is a static value right now, but I will show you how you can show dynamic value. So what we have do, what we have to do is just uh, like uh, we need to first of all. So we need to connect with our database. So. I'm using PHP. If you are using another language, so just do it. Use uh, your favorite language, so it doesn't matter. Uh, PHP and include the session dot PHP. Wait, uh, PHP yeah, like that. Uh, and uh, include. Uh, include as an email function with include functions.php and that's it. So now we can remove this uh, static value from charts. If we go to back to web page so we have an error that means we don't have any value to show it so that's okay for now and uh, here in my gun table in my web uh, in my database so i have id name sprint year start year start month start day start end year and month and day and persons and this too it doesn't matter actually for us so what we have to take in consideration is just this from id to a person this is what we need in our table to show the content so the First of all, so I think I need uh, to set this height or no, let's uh, set back to 400 and I can show you what this means uh, later. So, uh, yes, if we see, uh, so we need to, since I'm using uh, PHP, so I need to call a php function uh, pmi php and uh, there is wait uh, not that actually so mm, yep uh, now i can just uh, i make a global connection with my what global 
uh, yep, that's correct. And now I'm connecting with my connecting uh, DB. Good. Uh, I make another uh, variable, uh, scroll. And this, uh, I'm selecting everything from uh, uh, my selecting everything from my GAN chart table or the name is actually just GAN so now I'm making another another variable I call that for stm2 uh, and uh, uh, yes uh, and my SQL E my SQL E dash query and here I will put first the uh, connecting DB uh, since I'm using uh, my SQL E so I need to pass uh, first the connection DB and then the table of which table so this is uh, going to be SQL that's good and now I will uh, call uh, or run a while loop so it uh, takes a data row a data or data rows is in that I'm calling so it's uh, another variable inside the loop mysql e and it's going to fetch SGMT from uh, that's good so far so we need to call uh, brackets uh, I think I miss a semicolon here uh, just to so now we need to echo the value from a, a database in the chart so to do that, since uh, it's uh, a long value, uh, and I just uh, made that, uh, created another chart, so I will show you how you can use it. So this is the first uh, value is a string value, and the second value is also a string value. The third value is also a string value. Then we take dates, this is the year, the months, and the day. This value is the start uh, when the sprint starts. So this is, you need, this is a um, JavaScript function new date. So this is not a PHP function. So here is another new date function. Uh, it's also a, P, a JavaScript, and then this is the end year, the months, and the day. And here we can calculate the null value, and here is the percent value, concatenating value, and the last one is also the nil value. So the dots means uh, we are concatenating value so if we go to uh, we, we save this first and go to our browser so just refresh it and you can see the table and the nice charts that i'm using uh, i have uh, just create it so is uh, the value uh, is uh, coming from my database and uh, as you can see so in the end it is showing a little uh, so if uh, we go back and put that to 500 so uh, it will help us to show the whole content of the chart so if uh, I think I have a uh, certain uh, charts here uh, so if you have many 
more or many more so you need to uh, pass this valley like uh, 600 or something so uh, this charts value and this charts value must oh this is the id and this is the id so this two must be the same actually to run the to get the content in the browser so another chart that I can show you is uh, another, another, another. I can show you actually line charts. It's also a nice uh, chart, is it? I think it's this. Uh, and we can use this line chart. Line chart. This is a nice uh, chart also. I'm using this also actually. So if we just copy the, uh, the code and uh, paste it in our code editor, use whatever what code editor you are using, it is not. So if we go to our browser and refresh the page, you can see nice uh, green, uh, a blue and a red graph, a long graph. So sales and experience. So if uh, uh, I can show how you can manipulate the value and you can add more uh, graphs in this. So just remove this uh, uh, static value. And uh, since uh, And uh, yes, uh, here is the page content, or this is a table uh, name that is showing in the bottom of the graph. Uh, this is the person name uh, and uh, from which table and uh, school theory here calling and a while loop and we are echoing the valley so the first is a string and the second is an uh, integer and the la I think the, uh, yes the rest is uh, integer value so remember these uh, brackets you need to have it in the first and the, in the last and you must put a semicolon if the after the last uh, uh, brackets so here and uh, also in the gang chart you need to call or you need to put a semicolon after this brackets and you have to call brackets here in the after echo so yes and i can show you how the this uh, table in my uh, uh, web's uh, database looks like looks like so if we go to group and uh, so this ID is print uh, the name of person and the author and the date. Uh, these two we are not using, so it's just for my uh, So You can. Uh, we're just using this value. We're just uh, taking consideration AD and the name of the person or the name of the whatever it is so it doesn't matter so this is just this and if I show you the content of this table so it's refreshing and you can see many more graphs right isn't it cool I think it's very nice so you can see the name and the graph and yeah, it's really nice. And the, if you want to implement uh, all the uh, donor charts, for example, it's the same. So you 
you just you just uh, actually copy the code this code uh, I think uh, you don't need this whole code but you did, if you run one of this code and you need this uh, and the function this you need uh, and also you need this script so this ID you need uh, you can just manipulate it in your web page so it doesn't matter uh, and this value is actually at the same you can uh, use the same value as I did in line chart so it is not different but uh, gun chart is different so thank you for watching uh, this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel my uh, channel is new and thanks for supporting uh, thank you guys bye bye